Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and welcome back to another episode of Every Effect in Adobe Premiere Pro Explained. Last time we finished up with the blur and sharpen effects, so today we're going to be jumping into the channel folder and taking a look at these seven effects here. This series is brought to you by my web shop where you can find all of my visual resource packs. So starting with arithmetic, this allows us to influence the red, green, or blue color channels and then blend them in different ways. So this is getting into something that we haven't touched on yet, and that is blending modes. So blending modes allow us to apply different mathematical processes to tell how two pixels or two layers should be combined for an end result. If I was to stack two layers on top of each other, like so, on every effect under the opacity panel, you do have blending modes here. So these are pretty much in every Adobe software. And it's difficult to explain the math behind every single one of these. That might have to be a separate dedicated video or playlist. But you know, they're self-explanatory. These are all like the darker ones the brightening or additive ones. These are the contrasted or combining ones here, soft light, hard light. With experience playing with these different blending modes, you get the intuition of what they do without perhaps being able to mathematically explain them. So going back to our original clip, this allows us to influence the red, green, or blue color channels and then apply a blending mode of those adjustments that we made. Next up, we have blend. Again, this is a way to blend two layers together. I guess depending on how many multiple tracks you're working with, this could be a flexible option in certain cases because you can point multiple clips to the same track. But the next one, calculations. This one allows you to combine the color channels of one layer and the next. So kind of the same as blending the two layers together, but in this case, you can specify by color channel. So when you have RGBA, that's red, green, blue, alpha, or you can separate it by individual color channels. And so if I specify the second layer to be video track two and increase the opacity, you can see I can blend together just one or two or many of the color channels together. And next we have compound arithmetic. This is kind of like the arithmetic tool, just another way to blend things. I believe this effect in After Effects has kind of been made obsolete, but it's been left in there to provide backwards compatibility with older versions that use this effect. A lot of these effects, like I said, there's more than one way to do them, and some of them are redundant. But Compound Arithmetic, another way to blend multiple videos in different blending and operating modes, working on different color channels. So you can see so far it's just been kind of different ways to blend and mix color channels and layers together. Most of the time, probably gonna stick with the blending modes like I said. But now we finally have a one effect that's pretty useful. You might go to it often. This is the invert effect. It simply inverts the color channel, something that you might be familiar with in any program. You have the option here to get really specific with the color channels that you're inverting. So not only can you invert everything, you can just invert the red, green, or blue color channel, or with keyframes together, you can create cool flashing effects, or just with simple blending modes, you can create some color grading bases. And not only can it be used creatively, but you can use this functionally as well to fix certain color issues that need inversion. Next up, we have another interesting one. This is set matte. So if you're familiar with mats and track mats, this allows us to take the properties of one layer and use them as the mat for another layer. To demonstrate this one, I'm going to create a new black video. So I'll just create a new black video and I'll drag that on there. And on this black video, I'll just create a ramp just to show you that's in the generate folder. We'll get to that in a future video. And in this ramp, I'm going to kind of make a black to white animation. So I'm going to turn on some keyframes for the start and end positions. And we're going to start all the way up for both. So fully white. And then we're going to end all the way the other way. So fully black. So if I see what that looks like, all right, I've got this interesting wipe effect that I've kind of accidentally created. Now, if I place that black video that I just created on a track like video one, I'll nest it as well, just so we kind of rasterize those effects on there and it can be recognized. And I place a set mat on my video clips. So I have a set mat on this one and I take the mat layer from that video one track and I use it for 
let's say the lightness, you'll see that this layer is using that black and white clip. Now, if I have another clip underneath that, what we've done is created this custom transition using the set map. Finally, we have solid composite. This allows us to take a solid color and composite it on there. So let's say I want to add a red solid and blend it in with this clip. I can make the source opacity 0%, then we'll get fully that red solid, or I can make that red solid take up only 50% of the screen. This could be useful for color dimming or darkening clips if you want to use them as a backdrop for a title. You can even adjust the blending mode of these colors. Uh, alternate way to do that, like I showed earlier, is to go to File, New, and you can choose Color Matte. And in this way, you can choose a specific color. It'll drop it in your project media bin as a color matte, and you can blend it with layers. So you can realistically achieve the same effects that you just did with a physical layer, but that's another option. Like I said, there's always more than one way to do effects and it's all math. So two plus two equals four, eight minus four equals four. You still get the same final result. In the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at the color correction tools, some very functional ways to adjust color, brightness, saturation, and the like. So if you're new to this series, I'm going over all the video effects, episode, video by video. You can check out the full playlist on my channel Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for new videos and I'll see you over in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.